Investigators from NASA and a private company are now searching the eastern Virginia coastline for clues into what led to the explosion of an unmanned NASA contracted rocket. Just incredible pictures. The rocket actually exploded in air and then it fell to the ground and exploded again. Luckily, it was unmanned. This rocket made by Orbital Sciences Corporation. It was destroyed six seconds after liftoff. The rocket um, had just cleared the launch tower when it's believed safety crews were forced to send a destructive signal after the rocket encountered a catastrophic failure. You can see that for yourself. The cargo ship, supplies, equipment, and experiments headed to the International Space Station, all destroyed with this rocket. Rachel Crane joins me now. Um, let's talk about private companies um, making these rockets right. and in charge of sending supplies and one day astronauts right. to the International Space Station. Big responsibility. Big responsibility. Well, so what happened with Orbital? Well, what people don't realize actually is that NASA has worked with the private sector since the genesis of the space agency. Actually, Boeing is the main contractor on the International Space Station. So this reliance on the private sector by NASA is nothing new. And we're not going to see that relationship change just as a result of an accident like this. But Orbital has to be sitting back today and just I mean, they have to be devastated. Right, of course. I mean, not just financially, right? Right, no, I mean, this is certainly tarnishing their reputation. SpaceX has successfully flown all of their missions to the International Space Station. This was certainly a high-profile accident. But luckily, this was unmanned. It was simply cargo. Yes, 5,000 pounds of it, but, you know, no one was injured. No, no deaths occurred. Well, I do think it's interesting that Orbital depends on old technology to build its rockets. Yes. SpaceX is the other company that NASA is... is um, Contracted. under contract with and actually SpaceX is going to be responsible for sending astronauts up into space right, along with Boeing so why is Orbital using this old technology? Why wouldn't it say, wow, this is, this is our chance to show what we can do? Right, well, it's interesting. You know, there's sort of like this space trash talk that happens within the aerospace industry. And back in 2012, Elon Musk actually referred to the orbital science system as a joke. Now, he tweeted out yesterday his condolences for the company. So certainly no one's rooting for anybody to have some sort of explosion. The industry wins when everybody wins. But it's certainly a competitive spirit out there, uh, to say the least. So what will happen now with Orbital? They'll, they'll so this was the third of eight missions that NASA has contracted mm -hmm. with them to run a cargo back and forth to the International Space Station. There are stipulations what, for accidents like this to occur. There's no reason to believe that this contract is in jeopardy as a result of this accident. And certainly Boeing's and SpaceX's contract is not in jeopardy in terms of their manned space uh, exploration. That's supposed to happen in about 2017. It's a huge contract, $1.8 billion. Yeah, we're talking right? major dollars. Yeah, Rachel Crane, thank you so thank much. You so